everyone, and we're at week 36. And this week, I'm going to show you how to use the comp editor that's inside of Record to get the perfect track when you're recording multiple takes of an audio track. Though we all strive to be better at our instruments of choice, be it guitar, bass, vocals, drums, or keyboards, there are going to be times when you just can't seem to nail the perfect take for that section of a song. That's when comp editing steps in to help out. Lots of times when you hear the final mix of a song on a radio or on a CD, you may not even realize that the lead vocal was actually recorded many times and then pieced together from the best parts to make the final track. And believe it or not, even if the vocalist feels they nailed it on the first take, a good producer will make them do it again and again so they have a few options to choose from. The comp, which is short for composite, editor in record, is extremely easy to use, and in no time you'll find it becoming another powerful part of your production toolbox. For this example, I'm using a few takes of a guitar track and a bass track that I recorded in the sequencer in loop record mode for about 8 bars, and that was so I could just keep playing the part again and again and again until I felt I had enough to work with. Let's look at all the takes that were recorded for the guitar part. Now what happens is what you're going to be hearing is the most recently recorded take on that track, but all the other takes are still there and can be seen by entering the comp editor mode. And you can do that by double clicking on the clip and or clicking in this area here when you're in the editor mode. If you want to hear a take, just select the speaker tool and click and hold on the section of the take that you want to hear. Let's say I like this section from this take for the first bar or so, and then this section from this take for the next couple of bars. And then this section from this last take for the rest. Click on the razor tool and just click and drag over the section from each take that you want to use and you will already start to see the comp editor working its magic. I can choose sections of any size and also cut in on sustained notes. And all I have to do to avoid any clicks in the comp cuts is to use the crossfade tools which are located right here on the track. To create a crossfade, I just click and drag on these handles and the crossfade is created. If I want, I could just leave the track the way it is with all the comp edits and the result will sound exactly the way I want and I would still have some of the other takes there if I decided to use them for some other section of the song. But if I'm fine with getting rid of all of the other takes and just making the comp edits permanent, I use bounce clip to new recording and then use the delete unused recording function and all I'll be left with on that clip is a result of the comp edits. And remember if we went a little delete happy and wanted to get back to where we were, we can always use the undo function, as long as the song had not been saved after making any edits. Well, that was a short tip this week, but a useful tip nonetheless. Well, that's it for another week of 52 Reason and Record Tips. Again, I'm James Bernard for Propellerhead Software, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.